When your milk comes in on around about day three or four, it's very common for your breasts to become engorged. In other words, they're hard, they're full, they might even be one or two cup sizes bigger than what you were before. And depending what you were before, it could be great or it could just be super uncomfortable. But either way, it can impact the way your baby latches and the way that you're feeling. So in this video, we're going to discuss engorgements as that you know what to expect and you know how you can manage it so it doesn't impact your breastfeeding journey. And of course, so that you can continue breastfeeding and really enjoy it. So let's start off with what is normal and expected. And as mentioned, it is absolutely normal and expected that around day three or four after your baby is born, your breasts will become full and hard and probably fairly uncomfortable. However, it won't affect your ability to latch your baby. The milk will flow freely and it will usually last no more than 24 hours with normal fullness of the breast and areola remaining fairly soft and elastic and allowing the baby to latch and feed effectively. However, when your breasts are engorged, they feel hard, the skin is really tightly stretched and taut and may even appear to be shiny. The breasts will feel warm and tender to the touch and they may even throb with pain. The engorgement itself may happen in one or both breasts and the areola themselves feel much harder than normal. In other words, I think the easiest way of describing it is that normally the areola feels soft like your earlobe, but when your breasts are engorged and the areola becomes harder, more like the tip of your nose or even your forehead. The nipple may even increase in diameter and it becomes really flat and taut, which makes latching really, really difficult. Bearing in mind that it is expected for your breasts to become full and engorged three to four days after your baby is born, I'm going to share some tips to prevent or minimize the engorgement to make it more manageable. And the most important thing is to nurse early and often. Your newborn baby needs to feed at least 10 times in 24 hours and you don't want to skip any feedings even at night and avoid any supplemental feedings which would mean that your baby wouldn't want to feed from the breast. Follow your baby's cues. So if baby is very sleepy then you'd be trying to wake them at least every two to three hours and putting them to the breast to nurse. Allow the baby to finish the first breast before offering the second breast and switch sides when your baby either pulls off on their own or when they fall asleep and it's always a good idea when they do fall asleep to take them off and change their nappy which would usually wake them up. Make sure that your latch is correct, that you are comfortably seated and that your baby is sucking well, that you can see a good latch and hear the baby sucking, especially because if your breasts are engorged, you know that there is good milk supply, so you should see a very different sucking pattern with your baby. If your baby is not nursing well, then make sure that you're emptying the breasts by expressing, but it's important not to overstimulate. Remember that milk supply is literally supply and demand, and the more you are emptying the breasts, the more you're sending a message to your body to make more milk. So if after feeding your baby, your breasts are still feeling incredibly hard and full, then gently massage just to bring them to a level of comfort rather than trying to empty them. And in that way, it will take a few days before your body recognizes that it's making too much and the production normalizes. Along with frequent nursing and good latch, you'll find that a cold cabbage leaf applied to the breast is very effective to relieve the engorgement and slow down the production. And because of this, you want to ensure that you only use the cabbage leaves three to four times in 24 hours and to leave the cold cabbage leaf on for roughly 20 minutes at a time. When you're not using the cabbage leaves, I recommend the silver mama nipple cups because of the healing and cooling properties of the silver. Engorged breasts will usually resolve on their own within a week to 10 days of your breastfeeding starting, but if it doesn't resolve or if you're unable to latch because they are so full and the areola is so taut, it's important to seek out a lactation consultant to help you with the latch and to make sure that you're able to drain the breast effectively without stimulating oversupply. Remember that in the first week of breastfeeding, your baby's needs are changing literally every day, and it's hard to know what to expect. 
there is another video series that will guide you as to what happens and what you can expect for the first six days after your baby is born, which will help you a lot to understand your baby's behavior and your milk production. Being part of our WhatsApp group means that you get answers to the questions as and when you need them, as well as an opportunity to meet other breastfeeding moms and see that you're not alone with the struggles and challenges that you might be experiencing, especially in the first week.